What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Game Channel. My name is AJ Gels. How y'all doing? We are back with Life is Strange True Colors. I I'm really interested to pick up with Chapter 3 in this game. I, I really don't know what to expect going forward. I mean, I know it's a murder mystery plot. I know we're going after this typhus mining company and everything. Um, but I, I gotta say, I really like how Deck 9 has been able to tell the story. How they're able to bring uh, Alex's powers into the game without it... Without, without it feeling like it, <clears throat> it's taking a major... I don't want to say it's not a major part of the story, but it's not like Max's time powers in the first game. I, I said this about the about the first Life is Strange. No matter how much I loved it, that game felt like it was so scatterbrained in all of its different plots. You know, you had the time traveling stuff, the tornado, you know, chaos theory with trying to save Chloe. That was all kind of one bit. Then you had the Rachel, uh, the the Rachel Amber murder mystery. Then you had the just the normal teen drama stuff. You had all the subplots and everything. And it just felt like everything was kind of fighting for time in the story. While here, everything feels very even the subplots of relationships and what's going on in the town still feels contained within the larger narrative. So the game itself feels like it's structured so much better. Um, I'd even say that about Life is Strange 2. Um, maybe not necessarily that there were so many stuff fight. There was so much stuff fighting for time that so much of the episode was just really kind of boring because it didn't feel like. It was doing anything. It's just like blah, blah, blah. And the last 15 minutes was important. So uh, I'm really excited to keep going. And uh, I'll stop yapping. Well, not stop, but you know what I mean. You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday, working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. You know, Alex, I gotta say, I, I'm really loving your really crappy plaid shirt. How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's Fuck you, ladies? Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your Stop birder of the year title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a rival. I just lost. You know, usually, shouldn't you, like, ask people? 
Hey, you mind if I take those dishes or something instead of just reaching in their face like that? <laughs> that just feels rude. Give me a second, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Sorry about that cut. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. D does anyone Thanks. feel like their audio sounded like ADR or something? Like, it just, it sounded odd. Can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it, then. And join the club. Maybe. That's why I do my running on a treadmill. Also because my I have bad knees and running uh You know, running outside on the pavement really hurts my knees. Welcome. I'll be right with you. Guy sound like such an old man when I say something like that. I'm just 27. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Nah, say, saying like I've got bad knees, I guess that's a tad bit of an overstatement. It's just, you know, I get, I get knee pain every so often just from some stuff in the past. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. See, I, I don't get this look. My sister does this, where she tucks in the front of her shirt. What's up with that? Is that, is that just a, is that a kid thing, or... I, I, I don't get it. Alright, let's hear this infamous song. Rocky Mountain State of Mind. Probably I probably overshot it. I thought it would be at the end. There it is. Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. And she's feeling pure joy. Really, it's that easy for her to feel that emotion. Like Alex has said, she's never felt some, you know, never, never noticed somebody feel that pure joy. Like that was, that's all it took. Really? Come on. I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. 
Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. All right, well... That kind of answers how long it's been since the last video well, in game, so it's been a couple weeks. Steph and Ryan are waiting on me. I'll go check in. Yeah, well, I'm talking to people. Your tab is in the six figures, Ducky. Chump change. Let's make it 12. I like Ducky. It's going to be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed stepped in. So, I started dust in daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to burning this. Holy shit, seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm so glad you like it. I really do. They done? All right, hey. let's talk to Charlotte. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll like it. Alright, I think that's just about everyone. Time? Okay. She's here. What's the plan? Well... We have two plans, actually. But... We're still workshopping them. What does workshopping mean, exactly? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? I mean, sounds like an interesting porno, yeah, but besides that... Better. I do. <sighs> now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except... I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> I love that look. I'm genuinely worried that these were the best ideas you had. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm torn here because, I mean, I I of the two, I think Steph's hotter. Uh, sorry, Ryan. Uh, but also Steph's mine. So. Let's go with Ryan. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Ryan is a good choice. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. 
I'm just going to try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Here's what I say. Stay away. Steph's mine. What's the best way to rile her up? So, have you... Have you killed people yet? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex? I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. Yeah, I was trying to poker face, unlike Mac. But let's see what she's really feeling. I was going for guilt over the uh, over pure anger of being. What's the Let term? Me try uh, guilt over uh, getting her anger that I'm accusing her. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. Like Wiley Coyote? If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Oh, we got her. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. She's, you know, the good Christian. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Oh, huh, okay. I thought I could get the whole Christian angle, but whatever. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. A month later, and I can still feel the void he left behind. All right, we're getting close. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. Did, did Gabe ask you about napkins? Later, no, I okay. I can still feel the void he left behind. It's worth a shot. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. See? Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. See, I gotta say, I am surprised that, you know, some people can talk and type at the same time. I cannot do that. I mean, it's why I rarely play competitive games on PC. It's like why I was so shitty at League of Legends, because I have to look at my at my, uh, at my keyboard to know which button I'm pressing, because I am such a shitty typist. Look, I know you're not a bad person, but my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right, that's the emotion I was looking for. Time to... Okay, time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs? 
It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played. But at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Ryan, what's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. <laughs> Alone in the mountains with this handsome fella? Sounds like a date. How long have you been planning this, you devil? This is so fucking bad. I love it. Well, to be honest, I've been wanting to ask you ever really? since you showed really? up. Really? You're going to do that from across the table? Truth be told. So... What do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. It, 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 that's like the Flash Gordon. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Is that is that the line? Either way, really? That's how you're gonna leave that situation? <laughs> This is a murder investigation. Oh, you aren't... Ugh, whatever. Insane. Insane. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. Oh, man. You guys... Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? How can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. 
Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, I'll get rid of all that crap later again. You know me, I gotta clear all those. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. I love it. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. Huh, there it is. Oh, hi there. Now, what do you unlock? Yeah, I don't need to know what that was for. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Dork. Half person, half dump truck. I feel you. Oh, really? I'm oh, supposed shit. to... I'm supposed to take this from a robot that the turns into a canoe? Off. Maybe I can find it. Nobody knows what that is. That's Gabe's last a... effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. Nice wallet. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. Yeah, that that was a uh, that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Yeah, that that line was a joke from Family Guy with uh, the uh, the Autobots, but uh, or no, the Decepticons, but Megatron's getting shit talked by a <laughs> by oh god uh, by Negatron, which is a one of the robots that turns into a canoe. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Okay. Just need to grab my guitar now. Yeah, but before that, we're gonna keep exploring. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Only eat one of these at a time. Steph, I will murder you. <laughs> we're one step closer now. <laughs> Did anyone notice that? It's uh, use the dark web to, f uh, to find an elite hacker. Steph couldn't figure out the dark web. <laughs> oh, man. There's some funny shit on that. This must have been Gabe's. That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. I guess the last one was forgive dad. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is going to flip. Untuned cord, one damage. Dire Rat joined your party. I'm 
really glad my advice helped. Yeah, I, I still agree with um, taking the settlement. Again, still that front tucked in thing. It just oh, that works really well with this hat. All right. Well, I think that's just about everything in here. And before we get into the LARP, which I feel like if we get into that, this is going to take, this video is going to end up being super long. Uh, so I think I'll close out here, guys. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. So I just want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Social media is in the description. Like, comment, you're not alright. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more next time. But until then, my name's AJ Gales. This is Something Like Game Channel. I'm out.